I think I I think young lung cancer is unusual. My story is un, more unusual in that there there were not symptoms. So I I actually stumbled upon my diagnosis. Uh, my my daughter had just turned one. I was 38 years old. My husband and I, I wanted to get back in shape after having my first baby. Um, we were training for a half marathon. I tweaked my neck doing a kettlebell pull. Um, we had just bought a new house and we couldn't get a primary care. And so I went to a chiropractor who sent me to her friend and it, it, the primary care just said, Hey, that stinks to like pick your baby up in the crib. If it doesn't go away, just get an x-ray. Um, the x-ray did show eventually that I did have a, a disc inflammation from an injury uh, that has healed itself. And, and next to that, um, up near the injury was an unrelated uh, advanced tumor. And I was diagnosed with stage 3B lung cancer, um, EGFR. It's now 3C, I found out. They've changed the diagnosis criteria. But um, yeah, I was just you know contextually extremely blessed to stumble upon it. I, I didn't have a cough. I didn't have pain. Um, and, and obviously, it was decently advanced at that point. So um, I was very, very blessed to find it. Wow, definitely. I, I, that is a blessing that you were able to find it that way. And I'm so glad that you are okay. And you are here to tell your tale. Um, I think we see, we actually see incidental diagnoses a lot in, in patients young, just like you and just like you, Caroline. Eric, what, what has been your experience? Who's the common patient that that you would consider young, a young patient that comes into your office and what tends to, is there a sort of pattern about how these patients come in? Yeah. So probably more than half of my clinic now is, is defined as young onset lung cancer. Um, so the majority of my patients actually are coming, uh, from all over, which is just crazy to think about, right? How the face of lung cancer has truly changed. We used to picture this elderly male with a heavy smoking history who was in his seventies. That is not the case anymore. And I'm trying to spread the word about that. I go talk to primary care physicians. I go out to the community. Community outreach and engagement is huge to me to make sure people understand it. Um, what I see, yes, are cases like Lauren's where they're going and they get incidental imaging. I've had patients, for example, who've gotten in a car accident and they found imaging through that way, right? That they had a lung mass. Um, but what I see more than often, unfortunately, is advanced cases of diagnoses that are that are happening. Um, so stage four, they come in, they've unfortunately had multiple workups after some time, several months thinking it was an infection, um, you know, get rounds of antibiotics, get steroids, it's not getting better. Or really their symptoms have been dismissed 